Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning, and I am here with another Hanukkah book. Hanukkah ends on Friday. This book was recommended by Kelly Petock, who used to be a teacher here at Redwood Elementary School. And she goes, have you heard of this book? Oh my gosh, you have to borrow my copy. And then I did, and I loved it so much that I ordered a copy for our library. It's called Schmelf, a Hanukkah Elf. The author is Greg Wolf, and the illustrations are done by Howard McWilliam. Schmelf, the Hanukkah Elf. Up at the North Pole, covered in snow, you'll find Santa's workshop, as most of you know. But no one can do all that work by themselves, so helping him out is his army of elves. The most unsung elves of those who assist are the elves in charge of checking the list. They all work so hard down to the last elf, and the newest of them was a fellow named Schmelf. Schmelf didn't spend time playing merry elf games, but sat in his cubicle staring at names. His job was to check through Santa's list twice to see whether kids had been naughty or nice. Schmelf loved what he did, but as Christmas drew near, he looked at his list and cried out, Oh dear! He'd found many children who had been quite good, but would not receive presents, though it seemed that they should. He ran like a flash to see the head elf, who smiled and said, Now, now, calm yourself, Schmelf. Of course you don't know, since you're still quite newish, but the kids on this list are actually Jewish. They don't celebrate Christmas, but that's fine, you see. They celebrate Hanukkah, their own jubilee. It won't be dear Santa who brings them a gift, but their mommies and daddies. Do you get my drift? Schmelf returned to his desk. His mind was quite shaken. Kids with no Christmas? He must be mistaken. So later that night, careful not to be missed, he snuck off to visit a house on the list. Schmelf peered in and wondered, could this be right? There wasn't a tree or a stocking in sight. Instead, he saw menorahs with candles so thin, and children were given their dreidels to spin. There was gelt, chocolate coins wrapped up in gold foil, and latkes frying in pans filled with oil. Then Schmelf saw that there were presents, one for each night. His elfish eyes gleamed as he squealed with delight. Schmelf listened as Mom told the Hanukkah story of the Maccabees' battle for Israel's glory. And though the brave soldiers won their great fight, their temple had oil for just one more night. But once they'd set the oil ablaze, a miracle happened. It lasted eight days. Hey, now I get it, Schmelf said with a grin. Hanukkah's awesome. I'm totally in. He raced back north and went straight to the boss, the big man himself, good old Santa Claus. Schmelf explained his discovery this holiday grand, and when he was done, Santa held up his hand. Good schmelf, chuckled Santa. It fills me with joy to see how you care for Jewish girls and boys. It shows me that you are much more than a clerk, and so I will task you with this special work. Hanukkah is a time for family and song. For joy and tradition, it's where you belong. 
I've decided at Hanukkah you'll travel the world, bringing magic and joy to each boy and each girl. Santa gave Schmelf clothes of white and of blue, the colors of Hanukkah, that much Schmelf knew. And a sleigh that could soar straight through the air with a Jewish reindeer by the name of Asher. Now, you good Jewish kids, for eight nights each December, Schmelf will come visit some years in November. He'll make sure your latkes are crispy and thin, your menorahs burn brighter, and your dreidels win. If there's one special gift that you'd like this year, tell Schmelf. He'll whisper in mom's or dad's ear. He'll do what he can to nudge them that way in hopes that the presents bring cheers of hooray. To reward Schmelf and Asher for all their goodwill, you can leave out some gelt and a nice kosher dill. What a magical Hanukkah, you'll think to yourself. See you next year, Schmelf the Hanukkah elf. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that story and have a great day. It's supposed to be rainy today, so I hope you're nice and warm inside. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys.